The first step is to create the PowerPoint template. I'm going to switch into Slide Master view. Then I'm going to create a new layout within the Slide Master. Next, I'm going to lay out the typical page I would like for my TPT preview. I'm going to create a content placeholder text box for a short description on the right. Then I'm going to add two image placeholders. And next I'm going to add some Baywood Labs branding as an example. You can imagine adding your own logo to the layout or your typical branding colors as you would use it. Right now that I've added my branding to it, I'm going to save this as my PowerPoint template. And click File Save As. And the biggest difference now, it's not a PowerPoint presentation, but I'm going to save it as a PowerPoint template. It's going to name it my first template. Notice the POTX extension over there, not the normal PPTX. Okay, next up I'm actually going to make use of my template now for the first time. I'm going to create a new PowerPoint presentation and choose my first template. Now I'm going to create a new slide using my layout. You can see it's added all the placeholders that I need. So I'm going to first type in some random description that I would use. And now I'm going to add two images to the image placeholders. I love this step, this is where the magic happens. As you can see I've just selected two images, dropped them in and they just filled it up. Let's see it again. Select two images, drop them in and they automatically fill in with the image placeholders. Now on a Mac you might have to drag each image in individually but you'll still save a lot of time overall I believe. Now as a last step we'll make one final adjustment to our slide master. We're just going to tilt each image placeholder a little bit and you can see the magic of slide masters in a second because whatever I do on the slide masters will be applied to all the layouts. You can see both images have also been tilted.